How do you make a generic pseudo turn-based monster combat game infinitely more interesting like this? Flame Claw versus Chop Chop. The world is your battleground. Invisimals. Little monsters fighting on a six-pack. I love it. Low stamina. This game would be so forgettable were it not for the effective use of its gimmick. A gimmick that transforms a game that basically sucks into a game that's awesome. This is on the PSP and played with the camera. After an awesome tutorial, you start by hunting for invisimals, which cannot be seen with the naked eye. They can only be discovered with your PSP and camera. Invisimals are everywhere, lurking in every corner and every object in your house. I knew there was one in Cosmic Carnage somewhere, I just didn't expect it to be on the inside of the packaging. But now we throw down the Ghostbusters style trap and capture our Invisimal. Then we make it angry and fight other Invisimals to the death. So, so basically you're like the Michael Vick of fictional invisible monsters. Invisible is locked. A jet crab. That's one nasty little Invisimal. And down with poorly done dramatic CGI, this game does it right with real actors. They're super cheesy, they're fun to watch, and they totally hook you into the ridiculous story of Invisimals. I don't understand what's going on, but I I'm trying to connect to his PSP. Oh, hold on, I got him. My friend, I'm in trouble. Then I'd better battle on a Sega Genesis until you're safe, my friend. Talk about a game where everything except the gameplay steals the show. Oh, I died right on the cartridge slot. Better wipe that carcass off of there so I can play Genesis later. Invisibles. Invisible animals that only you and uh, your PSP can see. Oh, Kenny is a genius. Invisibles comes with the camera, and there's something infinitely enjoyable about being able to battle little monsters anywhere. On pretty much any surface around the home, school, office. And that's the joy of Invisibles. You hunt them down, and they're always hiding in certain colors, and then you capture them, and then fight. It's, it's no more complicated than that, but enhanced with this crazy storyline and constantly changing background that you control. Invisimals is surprisingly likable. Come to test the Tokyo Club's best player, huh? You must be the one Kenny cannot stop talking about. The way this works is that you throw down this little card that comes with the game onto a surface which positions the Invisimals in relation to the screen on your PSP. Ready. And this game has such a great sense of humor. The king of the Tokyo Club is in his bedroom. I mean, come on, this is so well done. Let's battle, newbie. The way that the card and the camera work together to position these little Invisimals in 3D space is really impressive. And were it not for this feature, it would just be another crappy monster collection training, leveling up, and fighting game. But Invisimals definitely stands out. As you might imagine, the more that you fight, the stronger that your Invisimals become. Did that little monster just fart in my coffee table? Disrespectful little creatures they are. Gonna have to 409 it after I'm done with this battle. In addition to the storyline, you have a bit of multiplayer in here with ad hoc and infrastructure gameplay, two player. During gameplay, you'll be collecting these little things called sparks, which can frequently become a bit annoying as you're just moving your PSP all over the place pointing at them. If you lose sight of the trap, your monsters will go away, but the game won't stop and you can find the card again and it'll come right back onto the screen. You also have special attacks and all kinds of crazy things. Sometimes you capture monsters by swatting them. Invisible has been captured. And there's just a bunch of these little creatures that you collect throughout the game, and you can only imagine the fun you can have hunting for these. Where might Invisimals be lurking? In a hat? In a bag of coffee? Around your school? Try finding them on your teacher's desk during class. I'm sure that'll go over well. I thought it made sense to fight Akira on Akira. Also, the music sounds like it came straight out of the movie. Low stamina. At the heart of this one, no matter how cool it is, it's still a glorified monster collection and fighting game. 
And if you don't like the gameplay that you've seen, you're not going to like Invisimals, no matter how awesome the trick is. But if you do like this style of gameplay and are looking for some fresh games on your PSP, this one comes with the camera, so you don't have to buy a separate accessory. You can also get the camera with iPet, another game that uses it to clever effect. I always thought there was something special about that Phoenix artwork. There's an invisible lurking inside. I'll capture it by throwing stakes at it. It's Invisimals, a textbook example of taking something boring, applying a gimmick, and making it awesome. Invisimal escaped.